Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? It's Michael. Welcome back. Today I have a new recipe, but before we get into that, I wanted to take a quick second just to let you know that I'm doing a limited run of t-shirts through Forged Iron Training. I'm pretty happy with the design. We're going to do pre-orders on these shirts, so after a certain date, that's going to be it. No more shirts available, so if you want a shirt, I would love if you guys showed some support on this. There's a link down below in the description. And if you get one, tweet me a picture, Instagram it, or just send it to me. I would love to see it. Anyway, the recipe that I have today is some sweet and sour stir fry chicken. A great combination. So let's go ahead and start this video. So the first thing that we're gonna do with this recipe is just cook our chicken. You can use pre-cooked chicken if you want, but today I'm gonna use some trimmed and ready Thinly sliced chicken breast, this is probably around one pound. I'm gonna take some poultry shears and cut those into smaller strips and then just throw them on the stove, start to cook them a bit and we'll add some seasonings and spices. So now that we have the chicken cut up into pieces, what we're gonna do is add in two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then I'm going to add some garlic powder onto the chicken as well as some pepper right here and salt. And now that we've added all that, I'm basically just going to sit here with the spatula, move the chicken around, and let it cook all the way. And after you have cooked the chicken, what we're gonna do is add in this bag right here of stir-fried vegetables. You can get it at the store if you don't have access to this. All that's in this is just broccoli, some peas, squash, green beans, red peppers, carrots, yellow peppers, and water chestnut. And I say only, but that's actually quite a bit. And that's why I buy it in the bag like this, just because it's so much already cut up and it's convenient and only around $2 for this. And since these vegetables are frozen, we're gonna let these thaw out on the stove for just a few minutes. Now that these veggies are thawed up and ready to go, what I've got right here is one cup of cooked brown rice. I get the ones at the store that's just boil and bag. It's so much easier to track the macros because you know this is one cup of cooked rice. You don't have to worry about weighing it out. It's easier to me. I'm just gonna pop this open and dump in our one cup of rice. And the last thing that we're gonna do is add on our sauce. I guess if you wanted, you could make your own homemade sauce. It's not that hard, but it takes a lot of time and probably would like double the amount of time that goes into this recipe. And the macros on this one right here aren't bad. Two tablespoons, 60 calories, only has 14 grams of carbs and one gram of protein. So I'm probably gonna add eight tablespoons or so of this into our rice and chicken and vegetables. And this is what the recipe looks like when you are finished with it. We've got our chicken, the vegetables, a lot of variety with the vegetables like I went over, and the rice and the sweet and sour sauce makes a great combination. You really can't go wrong with sweet and sour chicken and then the rice and the vegetables just make it taste better in my opinion. So give this one a shot if you think it looks good. And that's all that I've got for this recipe. If you guys like the video, feel free to give it a like, maybe a comment down below. I always appreciate it a lot. And while I have you here, you can go down below in the description, check out that t-shirt I talked about, my cookbook or any of my social media sites if you use them. Hey, Hey, me too. That's the best place to keep in touch with me and ask me any questions. I'm always pretty good about replying on there. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll talk to you later.